Hey all, so it is Brian and I thought whilst I'm at home I may as well film myself a second video. So I'm in the kitchen and I've never filmed in the kitchen before so this is like first time ever. Um, so yeah, back to in-laws. Another situation that was mentioned um, when I left the status on my Facebook. If you're not on my Facebook, um, join me there uh, because I tend to update that like quite a bit. Um, and my sister and I recreated a beauty group. Um, which I'll put that down below as well so if you want to join that it's like it's a private beauty group though um, it's just basically to help people um, and we all work as a little beauty community helping people but anyway getting sidetracked one thing that was um, asked to speak about was daughter-in-laws doing absolutely everything and in-laws mistreating them so naturally when we get married I mean the sort of advice I was given um, and I know the sort of advice like you know, my cousins and my friends that we know of that they were given was um, you know, back chat, which you wouldn't really back chat anybody, it's a bit rude. Um, and you more or less say yeah to a lot of things. So if they say, Can you humor this? Yeah, sure, of course I can. If they say, Can you cook this? Yeah, sure, of course I can. Um, and you tend to like go along as if it's your own family. So one situation that um, I actually, this is really close to me uh, because it happened to a really good friend of mine um, and we supported her so much. When I say we, I mean me, my mom, probably my sister as well. Um, and what happened was um, she had basically uh, gotten married and stuff. She did not have a mother-in-law. Um, so the father-in-law was very, very dominant and very controlling and um, like any sister-in-laws or anything like that, they were very like, saying to my friend well you need to go cook you need to go clean um which some of you may think well that's standard in it like you cook you clean naturally well no she had to be up at early hours it was early hours of cooking early hours of cleaning making sure that you're awake um you know before anybody else is um and so what she thought was instead of them actually like telling me whatever she wanted to do it from her heart anyway that's the way that she is a lot of things she, a lot of the things she does is tends to be from the heart because she actually wants to so she thought again impressing the in-laws so that could be your brother-in-law sister-in-law father-in-law mother-in-law um even auntie-in-law however you want to take it or however you want to say it so basically it was very much like you know what i'll do this i'll cook i'll clean i'll make your food i'll wash your clothes i'll iron your clothes i'll do a lot of things because i want to i take you all as my family but then it was a lot of um a lot of things were being said to her they were very very rude very nasty very like they were mean they were horrible and a lot of the things i heard i just couldn't believe um and at one point i was like you're just making this up so anyway she's a very good investigator she recorded a lot of things and i heard it and when i heard it i was like oh my god i cannot believe it um so if you're in that situation and you're doing things from the heart you're not being told but you're doing things so you're doing things for your in-laws but then they give you a load of crap what the only thing i would suggest to you all is like no one first of all should tolerate any of that stuff if you're going to do things do it because you want to but if you're getting a lot of crap afterwards like oh well that wasn't even clean properly i normally do a better job than that your cooking your cooking wasn't even good like is that what you call cooking like there weren't even any salt in it there weren't even any flavor in it so if you're going to hear like all these things the only thing i can say to you is if you can tolerate some of it tolerate it carry on doing it let your husband see that you're actually doing these things now this is if your husband is very eyes open ears open if he's like that then you're okay but if he's very much like mommy boy or daddy boy or sister's little brother boy uh, whatever you want to call it and he's very much cling to his own family then i take it to your own family go to your own family and speak to them and just say to them look this is how it is and i really cannot handle it a lot of the times your own family can really 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 help you guys if you don't have a supportive husband if you do have a supportive husband the only thing i can say is that you need to either stick with it a little bit and let your husband see make him aware make him aware of what's going on and you know he can 
maybe help you well he should really you know if you're getting really down and stressed and depressed about it then realistically your husband should actually back you up and say to his family well no hold on this isn't right what you're doing you know stop making my wife do all this stuff you know or stop um saying nasty things to her because she's wanting to help you like generally wanting to help you stop being so mean to her then that should actually help now, if he's one where he's like, well, just do it, just listen to it, I'll forget about it, you know, my family will stop saying it eventually, then no, you need to kind of put your foot down, because at the end of the day, we're all the same, we're all human beings, but there's so much we can all handle, and if you're going to have somebody, you know, continuously yap and yap and yap and yap at you, like my friend, seriously, went into depression mode. We had to really help her to get out of her depression mode. Thankfully, she's out of it. So whether you choose to do it or whether you're told to do it, um, either way, you know, if somebody tells you, can you cook? And you say, yeah, you're choosing to do it. You know, but either way, you shouldn't tolerate any other crap. So if it means you have to go speak to your family, go speak to your family. Um, but you need to be strong. You cannot break down, don't break down and cry, don't think, oh my god, what's going on? Is this going to be my life for the rest of my life? You know, why did I get married to him or anything like that? There's always a light at the end of the tunnel. So, there's always a light everywhere and you just need to believe in yourself, have faith in yourself that you're much more better than this. This is not going to be the rest of your life because it's not. If you're going through this right now and you're feeling so like you need somebody to talk to, go talk to your husband. If you feel as though your husband is not supportive enough, go speak to your family. You know, there will always be someone there to help you go through all this and you're seriously not by yourself. All you need to do is just be, a, be so, 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 so positive. Just be so positive and if you feel as though you're in this situation, start thinking of the things that you want to be in. Don't think about the things that you do not want to be in. So if we continuously think that, oh my god, am I doing this every single day? I don't want to do this every single day. Is this going to be the rest of my life? Like, why did I even get married? If you're going to think of them things, then you're going to be stuck in that hole. So forget about them things. What you need to do is think about all the good stuff. Think about your own house. Think about your own apartment. Think about you having children. That's if you want to think about having children. Think about you working. All the other things that you actually really want, what you'll find is the bad stuff will naturally go away. That is what will happen. It will naturally like, disappear from your life. But you have just continuously have to be positive about what it is that you actually want. What it is that you want in your life, what you love in your life, um, and all the bad things that are happening will naturally go away. If you guys have been in this situation or know somebody in this situation, like share this video with them, maybe it will help them because they're not by themselves. There's so many people out there who are actually going through this stuff. And I think it's so sad that people actually put their daughter-in-laws in this situation it is very 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 sad and when i hear these stories oh my god seriously i wish i could just open my arms up to everybody and just give them like big hugs and stuff and tell them like everything will be fine that's what i like wish i could do because it's upsetting but let's forget about the upsetness because that's going to go that's going to be like out the window and all the good amazing stuff is going to come into your life you're just going to be really happy really positive and try and forget about that stuff and think about all the amazing things you want. If you've been through something similar to this or if you disagree with anything that I've said and you've got your own little thoughts because we all do, leave them down below and comment down below and let me know what you guys think. If you guys are happy with all these sort of situation real talk videos then just let me know as well because I want to know if you guys are actually enjoying this and if you enjoy seeing me with my bare face, thumbs up because um, I've got to get used to being bare face. I don't like to wear foundation all the time but thank you guys so much for watching and I shall see you all soon. Bye.